How are you doing my people? Since the last video, it is my prayer that you have been well and it is my prayer that the content is blessing you. I do hope you are feeling you are becoming challenged and that above everything else, your life is becoming better because that is my passion. To see you living a victorious life, a life of victory in Christ Jesus and a life of victory in your area of assignment and calling in terms of fulfillment of your personal destiny. Today, I am here for the sake of the first time viewers. My name is Jerin Derito. I, may, I am your partner to empower you in this, our life journey. Uh, today, I have another video content. Uh, today's message is on how are you spending your days? Today's video, my listener, is more of a reflective one. It is a video that I have prepared to make you personalize it, ask yourself questions, be real and authentic with yourself so that as I always tell you, you may be able to be equipped and empowered to arise from that place of doubt and comfort zone and arise and fulfill your life destiny. I want you to adopt a positive mindset even as you listen to this video and I can guarantee you that your life is about to take a positive shift. I want to read you a scripture. The word of God says in the book of Psalms, chapter 90 at verse number 12, this is one of the scriptures that have completely transformed my life. And I am reading from the New King James Version. And the word of God says, so teach us, that is God to teach me and to teach you, to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom in a nutshell, what this scripture means, my listener, is that we should have wisdom from God to remember our days on this side of heaven are numbered. We are not going to be in this world forever. Today you are 10, 15, 30, 50. One day you'll be 90. And therefore, make each day that God gives you breath to count. Another scripture I want to read for us is a scripture that most of us we know. But as I always say, the word of God is new and fresh every morning. And the word of God says from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse number 1, to everything, everything, not some things, there is a season, a time for every purpose at the heaven. That means it is possible for you to do the wrong thing, but at the right season, or the opposite, to do the wrong thing, but at the right season. And therefore, even as I continue, as I say, Dahlia, start reflecting even as you listen to this video. Start to look into your life as a mirror and find out how have I been spending my days. I want you to, I would like to positively provoke you, my listener. Today, I would like to positively provoke you into having a serious and thoughtful conversation with your own self, my listener, on how you are spending your God-given days. I want you to ask yourself, are you spending your days to better and build up your life uh, or to break up your life into pieces? Uh? Are you spending your days uh, to improve your life uh, or to ruin your life? Uh? And I want you to be very real. Uh? Are you spending your days uh, to positively impact your generation uh, or are you negatively influencing your generation? Uh? Only you know the answer. And remember, you can lie to the whole world, uh, but you can never lie to yourself. Uh? Are you spending in your days are uh, touching the lives of others in a positive way or are you spending your days are uh, indulging in selfish ventures and activities are uh, where you are only focusing on you and yourself uh, where you don't even care about anybody else uh, are you spending your days my listener fulfilling your god ordained life destiny and purpose uh, and assignment uh, or are you spending your days uh, in activities uh, that are adding zero value in your life uh, keep asking yourself, uh, keep reflecting and thinking, uh, are you spending your days, my listener, in accordance with the will uh, and the plan of God over your life? Uh, or are you living an erroneous life uh, outside of the will and plan of God? Uh, and if you live such kind of a life, uh, you will live a life of frustration and emptiness. Uh, are you spending your days, my listener, in the realm of victory and abundance? Uh, or are you spending your 
my days uh, in emptiness uh, and chains of confusion. Uh, as I'm saying, I want you to be real uh, so that you may be delivered uh, because my desire is to empower you and uh, to positively challenge you to live a life of abundance. Uh, are you living your life, my listener, and spending your days with the revelation and understanding uh, that your days here on earth, uh, they are numbered, uh, they are limited, uh, they have an expiry date, uh, or are you living a careless, uh, a carefree life, uh, as if you're immortal, or as if you live here forever? I want you to know whichever way you are living your life, uh, there are consequences to that. Uh, are you spending your days, my listener, doing the right thing, uh, and at the right season, uh, or you are living a life uh, of constantly doing the wrong thing uh, and at the wrong season. If possible, get a notebook and start writing down as these thoughts are coming to your mind uh, because I am not leaving you the same place you came. That is why I am preparing this content because I want to challenge you, equip you, empower you until together we shine and we fulfill the purposes of God and we serve our generation. Are you genuinely happy and satisfied with the way you have been spending your days up to this point in your life? And I want you to be real with yourself. If you were to be brutally real and honest with your own self, and remember as I said, you can never lie to yourself. I can never lie to myself. Are you proud of the way that you have been spending your God-given days? The decision is yours to make. It is upon you to think about all those things I'm raising and take the necessary precautions so that you may rescue your destiny from ruin and destruction. Those of you who know me at a personal level and those who have been following this channel for some time, you know and you understand that I am very passionate about empowering others to discover and pursue their God-given life purpose and destiny and even to fulfill their assignment in their generation. And the reason I am is because I used to live a life of wasting my days. I used to spend my time pleasing people and my destiny was suffering. It was actually kept in, in a pending mode. It was almost becoming paralyzed until the Lord brought it to my attention. And once I realized that, I am now, by the grace of God, living a life of purpose. And I am determined and I am passionate to equip you and others to live a life of purpose. And I want you to know that I'm not asking you all these tough questions to condemn you or to make you feel like you're useless. No, 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 that is not my intention. My intention is that I am doing this with a lot of concern and a lot of passion, because as I've said, I want you to fulfill your destiny. I get very concerned, actually I get sad, when people fail to fulfill their God-given purpose, life, destiny, and assignment. Because as for me, from the moment that God put me on the right path and I obeyed, I live a joyful life. I always live a fulfilled life. My joy and fulfillment is no longer determined by how much is in my bank account or the weather or anything else. And I want you to also live such a life. Because let me tell you, my listener, when you are walking in your purpose, nothing will shake you because you live for a cause that is greater than self, that is greater than a car, that is greater than a mansion that is greater than wealth. You live for a cause to touch lives, empower lives, and bring out the best in other people. And that is where I want to position you, even as we continue with this video. If I can only manage, dear listener, to push you to begin spending your days in wisdom and productivity, I will be absolutely fulfilled and excited. I will be the happiest woman on earth because that is my passion and my vision in life. I want you to listen to this video with a very open-minded uh, perspective. I want you to listen to this video with an open objective, with an honest uh, mindset uh, and a teachable spirit. Because remember, as long as you are pointing your finger on others and refusing to point uh, on yourself, you are going nowhere. And that is the truth of the matter. And I want you to understand that one of the greatest killers of destiny and purpose and the abortion of great assignments of great men and women is 
spending our days carelessly. And that is wasting our time. And that is why I am here to empower you. And I want you to know that the secret, my listener, to your successful fulfillment of your God-ordained purpose and life destiny lies squarely on how you spend your days. I cannot emphasize this further, that unless you know how you are spending your time, how you are spending your days, you will never fulfill your destiny. If only you can manage, my listener, to adopt the discipline and the consistency of spending your days in wisdom, then I want to guarantee you this thing. You will fulfill your life destiny, purpose and assignment uh, in your generation uh, and millions of lives. Uh, they will be transformed. Uh, you will live a productive and impactful life. Uh, you will live a life that pleases God who gives you the bread and the days that you live. Uh, and your generation uh, will celebrate your birth. Uh, they will be glad that you were born and you lived uh, because you will build a great legacy. I want to conclude this message by letting you know that for many years as I said earlier I spent my days in foolish things and activities are I became too available I didn't know how to say no to people and what happened I ended up wasting several years of my time in unproductive ventures but I thank God because that is not happening anymore and I want to empower you my listener so that you don't repeat the mistakes that I did I am ready for you to use me as a reference point so that you don't ruin your own destiny. I used to please people without knowing I was killing my own destiny. But do you know what? Uh, nowadays, I am extremely strict uh, and disciplined with the way I spend my days and my time. Uh, and they are impressive and evident. Uh, and I cannot go back to the place of wasting my time. Uh, and I hope uh, that I have managed my listener to push you into the same level of spending your days in wisdom uh, and doing the right thing uh, at the right time. Uh, and I want to assure you that if you do this, uh, you will not miss out on your life purpose. Uh, your destiny will be fulfilled. Uh, your assignment in your generation will be beautiful. And I want to encourage you that uh, you will be delivered uh, from the highway of spending your days uh, in vanity, in useless activities uh, and misplaced priorities. Because you will spend your days in wisdom and productivity. And as I always say, my desire is to see you make it in life. My desire is to receive an email from you telling me, Jerry, I am making it up. And I want to remind you that, uh, that if you are here for the first time, and maybe you are wondering, who is this woman who is being too tough? Apart from preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, I have a passion and a mandate to equip human beings to arise from their comfort zone, to discover their purpose in life, and to equip you to pursue your life purpose. I love doing that. That is something I can always do. And I want also to welcome you, especially my new viewers. Uh. Thank you for becoming uh, a part of this family. Here we are a family of generational and transformational leaders uh, and influencers. Uh. We make impact everywhere we go. We are not apologetic uh, about how we spend our days. Uh. I want to remind you, make sure you subscribe to this channel uh, and please give me your feedback. Uh. Remember to turn on that notification bell so that you get notified uh, each time that I upload new content. Uh. I want to tell you this even as I bring this to a closure. I am dedicated. I am committed. I am passionate about what I'm doing to equip you to live out your God-ordained life, destiny, and purpose and fulfill your assignment in your generation. And I will not stop pushing you. I will not stop challenging you until you come out of that mat. You use and spend your time wisely. You spend your days in wisdom and productivity. And we meet at the top. I want you to know that as usual, I will be praying for you. And I look forward to getting your feedback. I look forward to receiving your testimony that right now, Madam Jerry, I am pursuing my life purpose and my destiny. Until the next video, stay safe and remember to spend your days in wisdom and productivity. Bye-bye.